Okay, so I uh, went down a real booktube rabbit hole recently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just, you know, I started out looking for one review, mm -hmm. and next thing I knew, I was watching videos for hours. Wow. Everything from classic literature to, like, bookbinding tutorials. Yeah. It's amazing how big this community has gotten. It really is. It's incredible, you know. Booktube has evolved yeah. into this really diverse and... Uh, dynamic space. Right. It's not just yeah. sharing reviews anymore. Exactly. It's a platform now for like in-depth discussions yeah. for people to express themselves creatively. Yeah. And even build real connections with other book lovers. Right. So it can be kind of overwhelming for someone who's new to it. Oh, yeah. So that's why we're doing this deep dive today into BookTube right. to help you navigate this world. Exactly. We're going to be looking at channels that cater to all sorts of yeah. interests and styles from those geared towards new creators mm. to those that really dive deep into specific genres okay, like sci-fi and fantasy. Yeah. We'll even be looking at how booktubers engage with their audiences, you know, right. spark discussions, maybe even influence the publishing industry. Think of it as a tour of booktube. We'll introduce you to some of the big names. Oh, yeah. Like uh, Mark from Book Time with Elvis, uh -huh. who gives great advice for people who want to start their own channel. Yeah, and what about Bridger from the Library Ladder? Oh, yeah, Bridger. He brings this really mature, you know, almost academic approach right. to classic literature. Yeah, and we've also got... Oh, and there's what? booktubers like Jessica from Books and Things. Oh, yeah. She's known for her really insightful opinions yes. on classic literature and how relevant it is today. Uh huh. We've also got people who have a more casual conversational style. Right. Like Camille from What Camel Reads. Yes. His channel. It feels like you're just talking with a friend about books. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. So we're also going to touch on reading challenges. Oh, yeah. And tags, which are popular ways for Dicktubers to connect with each other. Absolutely. And explore different genres. Right. And we'll highlight channels like the novel Nomad, huh? who really champion diversity in reading yeah. and really encourage viewers to try new things. So why don't we start by focusing on channels that are helpful for people okay. who are new to BookTube? Sounds good. Or maybe even thinking about starting their own channel. Yeah, like Book Time with Elvis. Yes. If you want guidance, his channel's fantastic. Right. Mark, the host, he goes beyond, you know, general advice. Mm hmm and gives very specific tips okay. on the technical stuff. Yeah. Creating content. Like what? Oh, things like, you know, finding your niche. Yeah. Creating those thumbnails, you know, that people click on. Oh, right. And even understanding the algorithms that drive BigTube. Yeah, those can be so confusing. Totally. It's like he's teaching a master class in BookTube. Yeah. He doesn't just tell you make good content. Right. He tells you how to make it what? so people will find it. Exactly. On BookTube and want to watch it. Yeah. And then you've got channels like the Bookish Bryans. Yes, they're great. Who offer a more realistic perspective on BookTube. Mm -hmm. They talk about the costs, yeah. like the equipment, the editing software. Right. The stuff people don't always think about. Yeah. And they encourage creators to think about why they want to do this. It's not just about views. Right. Or getting sponsorship. Yeah. It's about sharing your love of reading. Absolutely. And connecting with other people. Exactly. Finding that community. And for those who are into classic literature, oh yeah, especially sci-fi and fantasy, okay, you've got to check out the Library Ladder. I've heard of them. <laughs> What's really cool about Bridger's approach is yeah. he goes beyond like re just reviewing the books. Mm. He really analyzes them. Wow. He talks about the historical context. You know, That's interesting. The literary techniques, the themes that make them relevant today. Yeah. He helps you understand why these books are still popular. Like, for example? Well, in his video on Dune by Frank Herbert, okay. he doesn't just talk about the plot. He explores how it reflects oh. the anxieties people have about the environment, you know, uh, and political power struggles. Those are still relevant today. Exactly. Wow. He connects these old stories to today's problems. Right. So they feel fresh. Yeah. And his style is so mature. Yeah. You know. Yes. Yeah, Very but... different from some of the more casual channels. Totally. Then there's Jessica from Books and Things. Oh, yeah. I like her. She's got these strong opinions. Yeah. She's not afraid to challenge how people think about classic literature. I like that. Like she had this great discussion about Pride and Prejudice. Uh -huh. 
and how the themes of social class and gender roles, you know, yeah. they resonate with people today. Right. Or maybe they don't. Makes you think about I these mean, books it, in a new way. And she's not afraid to make people uncomfortable. That's good. Gets the conversation going. Right. And it helps people think more deeply about classic literature. Now, for something completely different. Yeah. We've got booktubers like Alex from <laughs> Middle of the Book March <laughs> and Camille from What Camille Reads. Yes. Their style is much more spontaneous, uh -huh. conversational. Right. It's like you're just hanging out with them. Exactly. A lot of energy, <laughs> unfiltered opinions, lots of fun. So Alex, for example, they put out so much content. I know. It's amazing. And it's all sorts of different topics, new releases, uh -huh. personal reading challenges. Yeah, and those strong opinions. Right. They love to spark debates in the comments. It's like they're not afraid to say what they think. Yeah, which is great. Totally. And Camille's channel is like yeah. a stream of consciousness uh -huh. going through their reading life. I love that. Rambling, going on tangents. It's yeah. so refreshing. Like you're part of their book club. Exactly. So we're seeing how diverse BookTube is, even within these like specific categories, right? Absolutely. Different personalities, different styles. So many different ways to create content. And this is just the beginning. Right. There's so much more to explore on BookTube. So what other channels do you think capture the essence of BookTube? You know, it's amazing yeah. how even with all these different approaches, yeah. these BookTube channels, Yeah. They all have this one thing in common. And that. Community. Oh, yeah, totally. Community. Yeah. You see it everywhere. Right. The booktubers are responding to comments, uh -huh. doing live Q&As. Oh, yeah. Participating in reading challenges and tags. Those are so fun. Yeah, maybe we should explain those. Yeah, good idea. For anyone who doesn't know. Some people might be new to booktube. Yeah, so basically a reading challenge is like. It's a fun way mm -hmm. to set reading goals, you know. Yeah. For big tubers and their viewers. Right. And they usually have a theme. Yeah, like a specific genre. Right. Like there's the read harder challenge. Oh yeah, I've heard of that one. It encourages people to read outside their comfort zone. And try new things. Exactly. And maybe discover some new authors. I like that. It's one. like a giant book club. Pull it. But with a little bit of competition. A little friendly competition. Yeah. And you know, creative prompts. And then there are tags. Oh right. The tag. Yeah, that one we're... book tuber will ask a question or like a challenge yeah. and others respond with their own videos. Right. It creates this chain reaction. Of book discussions. Yeah. And I think it makes people feel like they belong. Definitely. Which is really important. Especially if you have yeah. like a book club in your town or something. Right. Exactly. It's like finding your bookish people online. Your bookish tribe. It's, and it's you know, not just about like casual chats, right. they get into some deep discussions. Yeah, but the books they're reading. The themes, the symbolism. The characters. Even the author's intentions. It's amazing. Oh, it's like BookTube is creating a new generation yeah. of literary critics. I love that. Yeah, it's like democratizing it, you know, mm -hmm. making it accessible for everyone. Right, and it's not just about classic literature either. Oh, yeah, there's a big movement now yeah. to champion diversity in reading. Absolutely. And channels like The Novel Nomad? Yes, they're great. They're leading the way. They have such a passion for it, you know? Yeah. Showcasing books by authors from different backgrounds. Right, and exploring genres that people might not know about. Like what? Well, they did this amazing series okay. on indigenous futurism. Oh, cool. Highlighting authors like Cherie Demoline. I've heard of her. And Rebecca Roanhorse. Oh, yeah, I love her books. And they didn't just review the books. Mm -hmm. They talked about the historical context right the culture and the importance of representation in literature it's about expanding our horizons right yeah like realizing there are so many different stories out there and the human experience is so rich and complex yes exactly and you know what what i think this emphasis on diversity uh-huh it's starting to impact the publishing industry. Oh, for sure. Because booktubers have this direct connection yeah. to a huge audience of readers. And they really listen to what they have to say. Right. So when they say, yeah. hey, you should check out these books, yeah. it sends a message to the publishers. Exactly. Like, this is what people want to read. And we're seeing more and more publishers uh -huh. working with booktubers. Yeah, like giving them early copies of books. Sponsoring videos, even doing marketing campaigns together. It's a win-win. For everyone, the publishers, the booktubers. And most importantly, yeah. the readers. They're the ones who benefit. They get to see all these different books. Right, and get insights from the reviews. And the discussions. And be part of this 
amazing community. Yeah, it's really cool to see. It's fascinating how BookTube is changing how we read and how we think about books. I mean, who would have thought right. that a platform for cat videos and makeup tutorials yeah. would become this force mm -hmm. in the literary world? It's amazing. It really is. It's all about passion, right? Mm -hmm. And the power of storytelling. Yeah, the love of books. So let's talk about some specific channels okay. that really show the creativity and diversity of BookTube? Okay, well, one BookTuber who really stands out for me is Christine Riccio. Oh, yeah, Pole and Bananas books. Yeah, she's been around forever. Right, a real veteran of the community. Yeah, and she's just yeah. she's so good at connecting with her audience. She really is. It's like you're friends with her. Yeah, her channel's mostly young adult fiction. Uh-huh. But it's more than just, like, reviewing books, you know? Right. She talks about her own life, her writing. Yeah, like what it's like living in New York. Exactly. And she's always up on the latest trends. Oh, yeah. She's got great recommendations for everything. Books, TV shows, you name it. And she's so enthusiastic, it's contagious. It really is. You can't help but get excited about the books she loves. And she's a published author herself, too. Oh, yeah. Again. But mm. better. That's the one. It's about a college student finding herself in Italy. I loved that book. Right. And it's based on her own experiences. Oh, wow. Studying abroad. So cool. It just adds another layer to her channel. Hopefully. He's not just talking about books. She's creating them. She understands the whole process. Exactly. And she co-hosts an online book club. Booksplosion, right? Yeah. It's another great example of how booktubers build community. Oh, yeah. Everyone reading the same book. And then discussing it together. They pick a new book every month. Uh-huh. Sometimes it's a new release. Sometimes it's something older. And they have live discussions on YouTube. I love that. So fun to hear everyone's different perspectives. It's like a global book club. Anyone can join. Exactly. It's awesome. So for a more um, analytical, yeah, academic approach to literature, The Library Ladder is a great channel. Oh, yeah. Bridger is fantastic. He's so good at making those classic books right. feel relevant today. Like he'll talk about the historical context. Yeah, the social and political stuff going on at the time. Exactly. And how it influenced the books. Oh, interesting. Like in his video on Frankenstein, huh. he talked about how people were worried about science. Oh going too far, oh, you know? Like playing God. Yeah, and those concerns are still relevant today. Absolutely. He makes you realize these books, yeah. they're not just from the past. Right. They still have something to say to us. And his presentation style is so unique. It's very polished, right? Yeah, almost like a documentary. With the visuals and the music. It's very different from those casual conversational channels. Totally. But it works really well for the type of content he makes. And then you have the other end of the spectrum. Right. Like, Middle of the book, March. Yeah. That Camille reads. Yeah. Much more spontaneous. Nice energy. Lots of opinions. And they're just so excited about books. Alex from Middle of the Book March is like a whirlwind. I know. It's amazing how much content they create. They cover everything, new releases, indie books. And they're not afraid to say what they think. Even if it starts an argument in the comments. Right. It's so genuine. It's refreshing. And then Camille with their rambling style. It's like you're having coffee with them just chatting about books. Exactly. It's so relaxed and fun. It reminds you that talking about books yeah. doesn't have to be serious all the time. It can be just as much about enjoying the conversation. So yeah, BookTube is so diverse. There's something for everyone. Whether you want deep analysis or just to hang out with fellow book lovers. It's been great exploring BookTube with you. Yeah, this has been fun. I hope our listeners feel inspired to check out some of these channels. Me too. And maybe even start their own. So until next time, happy reading, everyone.